good morning so in today's class we are going to see about the process of decision making so before getting into the entire process first i would like to talk about what is decision making so decision making is something that you have an solution more than one solution for a particular given situation or a problem say for example if you are asking a person to lend you a pen he will just lend you whatever the pen he has either it may be blue or it may be black but whatever the pen he is lending to you only with that pen you can able to write so there is no option given to you you have to just stick on to that particular color only but when you instead ask for a shopkeeper to give a pen he will be having blue black green uh, red or whatever the color it is available he may lend you the pen so you have the option of selecting which color you want so when option is there for more than for when uh, more than one option is there for a particular solution you can able to take a decision so that is actually called as decision making so now we will get into the process of decision making the process of decision making actually has six steps in it the first step it is that identifying the problem or understanding the problem there is a proverb in english which states that a well defined problem is 50% solved even if you can take any example as a mathematical problem only the, when there is an operational symbol whether you have to go for addition subtraction multiplication or division only when the oper uh, mathematical operation symbol is there you can able to solve the problem the uh, mathematical operation which tells you that which kind of problem that is so similarly for any given situation or any problem you have to understand what it is prevailing in that particular stage so first and foremost step it is analyzing the problem the second step it is that what are the possible solution is there to solve the situation or to solve the problem so you have to array with all the possible situation either you can go in plan a plan b or plan c how many ever so plan is there you have to array with all the ideas to solve the particular given situation so you now you have come to the second stage where you are arriving at the possible situation and the third situation is that you have to evaluate each and every plan will have its own pros and cons that is merits and demerits it will be there you have to select so what are the what are the demerits in plan a or in plan b on plan c is there and which has more merits in it and if at all even though demerits are there is there any possible opportunities to overcome that hurdle there will be some contingency situation also will be there in each of the plan so whether the contingency situation can be uh, overcome or whether any possible arrangements can be made in order to overcome the contingency situation also taking into minds of the merits demerits and overcoming the contingency situation the best plan can be evaluated okay after evaluating comes the fourth step wherein you have to choose the best plan out of the option given to you so you are have you are arrived at a all possible solutions and you have evaluated also all the uh, possible solutions after evaluating you have to select the best among the plan that is there so after evaluating you have to choose and after choosing the plan the next step that is the fifth step it is implementing because no plan or no solution is said to be best unless until it is implemented and proved to be a successful solution so you have to implement it only when it is implemented you will actually know what are the practical difficulties that you have planned during the evaluation is actually persisting or not and you can able to overcome it so unless until it is implemented it is not said to be an effective or a good solution so after implementing the solution then comes the last step that is feedback so feedback is a mechanism where you can able to know the solution that you have chosen to solve the problem or solve the situation is actually worked out or not if in case it is worked out then the solution what you made is very good or it is said to be very effective then you are a good decision maker suppose the plan is not working out as per your expectation the feedback mechanism again it will direct you to the first step wherein you have to study what has gone wrong in your plan or in your solution and you have to analyze the situation then again come up with the uh, possible solutions 
then evaluate it, choose, implement, and again you have to go for the feedback mechanism. So these text, texts only is very, very important in the decision making process. Thank you.